Okay, Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. This is going to be a real quickie. You know, and it says, All things work together for the good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. And he always makes sure that he accomplishes more than one thing. Because God is a multi-purpose a multi -purpose God. There's always something else happening besides the main event. Well, the main event was me and my calamity. But guess what? What was happening on the sidelines was the first time I was ministering to some of the nurses. I was helping one as she cried in my room. You know, get through her crisis of life. I was helping another one understand people so that they can be more sensitive to them. I shared with another person about the Lord in a certain aspect they needed. While I was at this particular hospital, I felt to pray for the guy in the bed next to mine who was about to have a toe cut off. We shared, and I asked my friend to lay hands on him and pray for him, but I first asked him if he minded, and he was all for it. And we all shared and got together. And I mean, it was a beautiful time between the people. Okay, the lady on my, across the hallway from me, not the hallway, she was across the big room that was an emergency. And she was yelling and she was in pain and oh, oh, oh. And I could tell she was going to be high maintenance because she had chronic pain, you guys. In some cases, acute pain. She had a lot of health issues. Decupitus or decupidi or however you want to call it, bed sores. She had a lot of uh, things developing and wounds that would not heal. She had pains in her hips. She, I mean, she just had a lot of issues. Now, we prayed for her because she ended up being my roommate. I had a heart to want to reach out to the first daughter I saw come in the emergency room, but I couldn't think of a way to do so. So the Lord just set the stage and put us in the same room. The next thing that happened, another daughter walks in. Okay. We ended up talking. She needed encouragement, okay? Now, I prayed incognito because I have a way when I'm not sure where a person is or if they're ready or whatever. Um, I have a way of praying, Lord, give them everything they need. And I keep going and going and going, but my real reason is saying, Lord, if they need salvation, give them that. <clears throat> Give them everything they need to get them there, too. So anyway, when we were getting ready to go, no, when she was getting ready to go, because I was still in the room, I called her back in, and that's when I prayed for her. And I counseled her on a conversation that had taken place earlier. And I said, you're already thinking in the right direction. Go with your heart. Don't be manipulated by people. Go with your heart. You're headed the right way. So that was, you know, that was encouraging to her. She came back in the room and asked us to pray for her mother. So we shut the whole room down and we prayed for her mother. I mean, it, it's like there was ministering going on, you guys. All things work together for the good. So you know, don't kick those moments because those moments might be the only way for God to orchestrate you into someone's life that he has orchestrated them there through a crisis and he timed it. God is a God of purpose. Nothing that happens is a wasted moment or a wasted event. Nothing is a wasted word of love or a wasted hug. Those are the seeds and the waterings going on. And one day, God will get the increase. Just remember to be a blessing, even when you're going through.
God bless you.